Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, so I just wanted to uh, re-record a video that I previously recorded doing a movie review, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, the previous recording of it went super long, and I kind of did a play-by-play, -play, and I don't think that's what I want to do with my movie review, so I'm just, I'm just going to do it over again here, give you guys a shorter movie review, just kind of my take on the movie. Um, and the movie that I saw was called Out of Darkness. So Out of Darkness was a um, adventure horror thriller is what they're calling it. Um, it was originally titled The Origin and they changed it to Out of Darkness. So um, when it was, it was released as The Origin in um, England, so London specifically, um, won a couple of awards, did pretty well. Um, then it was purchased by Becker Street and they wanted to release it in the United States. So we got a release here over in the United States um, earlier in the month and I got a chance to check it out. Uh, it looked really, really appealing to me. I like these kind of movies. I thought the, you know, both concepts, the horror concept of it um, and the concept of the uh, um, ancient man, the ancient humans and traveling over to the new world. Um, I originally had thought that it was a land bridge, but they actually sailed there. So they're probably not in the main continent of North America. They're probably in, uh, like, say, Newfoundland, um, Iceland, something like that. But they could possibly be um, on the uh, border or on the coast of, uh, of Canada, Nova Scotia, or, or actually not Nova Scotia. Anyways, on the, on the uh, coast of Canada there. Um, but we don't know for sure. They don't specify, obviously. It's 40,000 BC, so, you know, none of that really. 43,000 BC, sorry. Okay, and um, the other feature of this movie, and one of the main reasons why I wanted to see it in the theaters rather than waiting until, not to mention the fact that I love seeing horror movies in the theaters, um, is it has subtitles. And so usually if I'm watching a movie at home, I multitask, I wouldn't pay attention enough for subtitles. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to see it in the theater so I could uh, watch it and pay attention closely to the subtitles. And it's kind of interesting because I thought it was a foreign film as in the language that it's in is the language of the wherever it was released originally. But no, it's an English film. Um, so, you know, English is their first language, I would imagine. Um, not American like me, but, you know, English, I, you know, I can understand English. <laughs> Just giving you guys a hard time. Anyways, um, but no, the language that they used is kind of like a fictional language based on, um, I think it's Basque. Let me see here. Let me take a look. I think the language is, it's called Tola. I think Tola. Um, and it's based on Basque. I'm almost sure of that. Um, anyway, I'm not seeing it right now. So if I see it, I will. I will confirm that again later in the video, but I'm almost 100% sure the language they based it on was Basque. And so um, it's interesting to me because they they could have easily just done this movie as a um, your typical, you know, ancient man obviously didn't speak English, but we're just going to do this movie in English and then you can, you know, just assume that whatever language they're speaking is something other than English. Um, and then, you know, that would have been fine, but they decided to go this this route and do the language in a completely uh, fic fictional language um, and do subtitles in English. I enjoyed it, um, but, you know, it is definitely a choice, and, and I'm sure that, you know, some people didn't watch it because of that. Um, so if it's not, uh, it's not up your alley, then I, I understand that. But I would definitely recommend seeing it. Um, it's not a long movie. It's 87 minutes. Um, the, uh, the horror aspect is there. It's pretty solid. Um, you know, it's not overly shocking, um, in, in what happens or in the horror aspect of it. Um, but, uh, but, but solid, definitely solid is what I would say. Um, I enjoyed the movie. They do try to force some messaging in it, which I'm never a big fan of. Um, you know, forced messaging kind of takes me out of the, out of the moment of the movie as far as, you know, I'm, I'm trying to embrace what would have been happening back then. I don't want to see messaging that they think is perfect for the modern audiences or whatever. 
but it didn't kill the movie for me. It usually doesn't. It's usually just kind of like a, mm, come on. Um, and so, uh, so I will let you know that there is some messaging issues in the movie, especially at the end. Um, big bummer on the end there. <laughs> the, the ending definitely could have been better. Um, but overall, solid acting. I don't know who any of these actors are. I'm assuming they're um, all British actors, but, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can try not to butcher their names. Um, uh, Safia Oakley Green played Bea. Uh, Chuku Modu played um, Adam. Um, and that's kind of like a play on the first man, Adam, I would say, I, I'm imagining. Uh, Kit Young played Gear. Uh, Lola Evans played Eve, which is kind of like a play on Eve, so Adam and Eve, and they do have, uh, she is pregnant with Adam's child, and that's kind of like a thing, but anyways, uh, Luna Mwezi, Mwezi is, uh, a character, or a young, uh, a younger boy named Heron, um, and Amo Lunin as Odal. Um, I don't, yes, okay, so the language is, the film is entirely an artificial language named Tola, invented by Daniel Anderson and based on Arabic and Basque. So there you go. Um, but yeah, I would say they're all solid actors, um, especially given the fact that they had to memorize this whole script in this, um, you know, um, fictional language. I'm sure that adds to the difficulty of it. Um, their acting was definitely brought the movie across. None of the acting was was cringe or you know caused me to really pull out of the movie. Um, and so yeah, hopefully we see more from them down the in the future. Um, hopefully we see more from this director. It was directed by Andrew Cumming. Um, screenplay was Ruth Greenberg, produced by Oliver Kasman and Wendy Griffin. Um, and yeah, I would say I would say. If you're okay with the subtitles, um, definitely give this movie a watch. Um, and yeah, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, you know, unless messaging really takes you out of the movie so much that you just can't even enjoy it. Because if it does, then yeah, maybe skip this one. Um, but overall, I would give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I would say it's a great movie. Go check it out. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good day.